Hello and welcome to another 3D printing video. Today I'll be doing another 3D printer mod. So if you can see right here on top of the nozzle there is a um, fan and it doesn't have a cover and I have accidentally poked my finger and different things into the fan. It doesn't really hurt but I don't think it's very good for the, the actual fan. So I found a 3D model of a fan cover. So I'm going to be printing that. It should be fairly quick. Um, I'm going to be printing it in my black Hatchbox PLA, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so the print got done, and um, I took it out, I was looking at it, and as I was pulling it off, this happened. Isn't it sad? No. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, it came apart. I'm not sure exactly how it was attached, or even if it was attached. I don't see... I could see where it would be, but I don't see any markings on the edges of it actually... Uh, touching together in the 3D design. So, I might look at this on my computer again, um, and make sure the, the little fan cover part is touching the outside part that screws into the, the fan. So. I'll look at this, I'll start another print, and um, see if I can figure out what's the matter, see if I can fix it. Okay, so I figured out the problem. What it was, was, so it has the little frame part to, that goes on the fan, and then inside it has a biohazard design, which is um, three, four um, little circles. So it's got the one in the middle, and then the three around it, I think. But as the circles cut, came to the edge of the frame, it got really small and then got bigger again as it completed the circle for each of the sides and because of that my slicer decided that it was too small that my nozzle on my 3D printer wouldn't recognize it as anything so it decided to print nothing there because if you have a printer that's or the nozzle size that's point, um, 0 0.04 and that line of the circle gets so small that it gets smaller than point zero four, it decides that the the nozzle can't print it so it makes it nothing and because of that it made the inside come out and I only had the frame and then a little piece of um, biohazard uh, uh, thing I don't know the design and so I, I looked on Thingiverse and I found another uh, model which is kinda like a, a twisty fan type shape that'll go over on top of it I wanna see how that works it doesn't look like it'll have any problems like that but I hope it looks cool I'm gonna print it in the same material the black PLA and here we go Okay, so the 3D print got done, and <coughs> here it is, right here. So this is the, actually, you can't see it that well. There, you can see it a little better. Is the fan uh, cover that I'm going to be putting on. So, I'm going to take this off and see if I can install it on the printer. Okay, so I um, got the fan off the build plate. Um, I broke it a teeny bit because there was this part in there covering up a lot of the space that the fan would be sucking air in. So I took that off and it should open a little bit more. I don't know how well this is going to work because it does look like it's going to take off. I mean it's going to restrict the airflow coming in but I'll see. So I'm just going to take the screws out right now. And it should, I should just be able to put it in. So I'm just going to unscrew those. Okay, I pulled all four screws out of the fan and I'm going to install this part. So yeah. So I ended up taking um, some more plastic off the fan because I felt like it was still too restrictive of how much airflow was in. I um, screwed the screws back in, turned it on, preheated the nozzle, see if the fan will turn on, and it didn't spin. So I was like, what? So then I turned it off, unscrewed it, screwed it back in, and it worked fine. So I'm not exactly sure what it was, and it's, the, span is, the fan is spinning. I don't know how well it will work, because it does still seem like it's too restrictive. I'm not sure if there's any, like, um, 
things that people say about that or anything. I'll probably look into that in a little bit. But it's a great design. So far it works fine. I'll be using it. And I'm printing another printer mod that I may feature in some future YouTube video. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you like 3D printing, subscribe to my channel. And share this video with your friends. Thank you and goodbye.